Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today I want to talk about something that has been crucial to my stay-at-home magic experience, and that's Spell Table. It's a website that lets you play paper magic against your friends around the world, all online, and it's super easy to use. And today I'm going to run you through what it is, how to use it, and even play a game and show it off to you. Let's hit it. <music> So I love playing Magic Arena and Magic Online, but nothing beats playing Paper Magic. And Spell Table is the best way to do that remotely, safely from home with your friends around the world. It's got all kinds of built-in features, like first of all, from a technical side, it's got both video and voice chat right there on the website, so you don't have to download anything, you can just play right there. And it has all kinds of important features for gameplay, like a life total tracker, showing off what people's commanders are, card lookup, and more. And I really can't stress that around the world part enough, because a really cool part about Spell Table is it truly lets me play with my friends anywhere. I have friends that have moved across the country or even world that I can play with now at the drop of a hat, and I have all kinds of friends that I've met on the internet which Spell Table lets me play with immediately and easily. All you really need for this, besides your deck and your internet connection, of course, are two things. The first thing you need is a webcam, and even a built-in laptop webcam is totally fine for this. The second thing you'll need is a microphone to talk with the other players. I'll note that your cell phone is actually totally fine for this. There's a way you can connect Spell Table in your phone to use your phone as the camera, and then you can watch the whole game unfold on the computer screen. Now let me show you how to get into a game, some of the features, and even play a game right here, right now. All right, welcome to Spell Table's website, Remote Magic Made Easy Indeed. You can scroll up and down it, see all kinds of pretty pictures and fun facts, but where you wanna go right away is this get started button. You're gonna click here and you're going to be prompted to log in with your wizard's account. Now, if you, for example, have a Magic Arena account, you can use that here. Most of you will have this account already, but if you don't, you can click sign up here and you'll add in all the information you need and easily sign up and get in. But I already have an account, so I'm gonna go back and sign on in. Once you log in, you'll be here at your dashboard and it's pretty straightforward. You can do a few things like configure your inputs to decide where you want your camera and microphone to pull from, or if you wanna use your phone as a webcam, which is something I mentioned earlier. But the big thing you'll do is create a game. Now this find a game button will take you to the Play EDH Discord, which is absolutely fantastic and a great way to find games. You can often find a game of Commander there with people around the world in just minutes. So definitely worth checking out if you haven't before. Most of the time you'll be going here to create game. Now I actually already have the game we're gonna be playing later set up, but I'm gonna show you how to create a game. So you simply click create game. You're gonna type in a name. I'll call this one, you got this, seems appropriate. Now down here is the description where you can write any important information for the game if you need it. Then you're gonna hit create and it'll take you right here. So what you're gonna see is the active view of your webcam. And if you don't like this webcam view, you'll wanna go into your settings and you'll see this view again where you can change your camera and microphone. But this will show you exactly what you're gonna see. So then from here, you just click join now and you're gonna have this brief little join a game interlude and then bam, you're here in the game. Each of the players will show up in one of these four slots. Now let me walk you through some of the features. First of all, you've got this life total tracker. It defaults to 40, but you can of course adjust it up and down to start wherever. So if you do wanna just play a game of one-on-one -on -one 20 life magic, you're totally welcome to do that. Another feature I really love is this ability to add commanders. So today I'm going to be playing my Carter Doom Scourge commander deck that I showed off on a video the other day. And you just go here, click on it, and it'll show up right here on your profile. And then you can actually hover over it and you can hover over anyone's commander and it will show exactly what the card does, which is pretty cool. If I go back to that screen, you also might have noticed there are ways to track damage in particular. And this is handy for commander damage. So if Carter's dealt some damage to me because it got stolen by an opponent or something, and I've grabbed some infect as well, I could do this and it would track it all here and people could click in and see what that is. There's even some fun little stuff like Monarch. You can go here and set yourself as the Monarch. It gives you a nice little crown right there to show that you are in fact the Monarch. If your video is upside down, no problem. You can even just flip the video. And if you die and are eliminated, check the little eliminated box. It strikes you out. It's very clear. One of the coolest features that I love is the card lookup. You're gonna be putting cards out here on the table in front of you, no problem. And if you click on one like this, it'll pull it up over here. And you can keep a tr running track of all the cards played during the game. So I'll flip out a few more cards here. Hey, there's Temple of the False God. Click on it and boom, there it is. You can see that the previous cards move down here into history. 
And if you don't know what a card does, let's say someone plays a card and you can't see it very well or it doesn't quite pick it up because of camera glare. There's also this built-in search up here. So for example, if I wanted to search, I don't know, I'll search Moloku, one of my favorite old, older cards, Moloku the Clattered Mirror, boom, you click it and it shows up, no problem. And you keep that running tab of cards as the game goes along. And to invite people to the game, just send them your game's URL. So as I mentioned, we're actually going to play a game here. I invited a few friends to come play, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Now for this video, I'm gonna trim the game down to just be a couple minutes long and show off some of the highlights. But if you wanna watch the full video, I'm also putting the entire game up on my channel to watch as well. And if you wanna see that, I'll have a link show up on screen right about now. And I'm gonna be playing this Carter deck, which I'm really excited about. I built it up and showed it off on a video the other day. I'm using my Coral Sword playmat. This is my nod to a great store down there in Texas because I'm really thinking about you right now with everything you're going through. So stay safe down there. I'm about to play with three people from three different states. And even if the pandemic wasn't happening, I wouldn't be able to do that on a normal evening. So I plan to keep using Spell Table even after the pandemic is over. It's pretty cool. With that said, let's get into the game. You've got me, Gavin, and we've got Pixie Kitten. We've got Mana Curves, AKA Chase, and Kess. Hi, everybody. I am Pixie Kitten. I make Magic the Gathering content on YouTube. Um, and tonight I am playing Alenda the Dusk Rose. My name is Chase, uh, also known as Mana Curves. I'm a Commander content creator. And today I am playing uh, Chandra Fire of Kaladesh. This is my Chandra Tribal Planeswalker deck. Hi, I'm Alex Kessler. I am uh, one of the hosts of the MMCast YouTube channel and the Masters of Modern podcast. We do Commander of Modern, all magic content now. But I'm playing the Mimeoplasm because I got the secret layer for it and it's dope. All right, so I'm gonna randomize player order here using this nice little uh, randomized player order function. Boop. I appreciate though that me and Pixie Kitten are on the uh, War of the Spark <gasps> anime mat train. I know, uh, I love it. Good, good teamwork on our part. Yes, <laughs> high five. <laughs> Totally. I'm trying. I'm there. trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack Gavin with both of my vampires. Oh, well, thank you for coming on the show, Pixie. It's very, very nice of you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. And I will cast Carter the Doom Scourge himself, who says um, all your creatures have to attack next turn, and they can't attack me during that uh, that next turn an up ticker to deal two damage to target player. And I'm gonna get around Gavin's rules here and, and, and target Gavin for two. All right, I go down to 30. Your rules mean nothing to me, Gavin. I'll still find ways to get to you. Classic mm. Chandra. Classic, Classic mm -hmm. Chandra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am going to cast Factor Fiction and I'm going to target Pixie Kitten. So let's put the top three in a pile and the bottom two in a pile. Uh, I will take the bottom two pile. Hey, good work, because whenever you make them take two cards off Factor Fiction, you know you did a good job. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, mm -hmm. I will attack Chase. Uh, you are never invited back on my stream, ever. That was Gavin's fault. It I mean, was. Gavin caused that. That had nothing I to do agree. with it. I agree. Gavin attacked you. He's I really us just... against each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, welcome to Gavin's Thunderdome. You all enter, you all become bitter <laughs> enemies. I'm going to ultimate my commander. So I'm going to deal six damage to everybody. And then everybody will get an emblem that will deal three on their upkeep. Glad I'm playing life game. And I'm going to play this ley line of punishment. Players can't gain life and damage can't be prevented. No. Oh, okay. What? I'm so, so sorry. And the wild card is even if we kill you, if we, if we erase you from existence, that emblem mm -hmm. will continue to exist on us. They oh, do. No. That's the beauty of emblems, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I will cast Rune Scarred Demon. Ooh, go search okay, for a card. Okay. I'm gonna cast oh. Splinter Twin onto uh, my Rune Scarred Demon. This is the big moment. I'm gonna get a very large Mimeoplasm. Skitherix is going to come in with 38 plus one plus one counters on him. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> and now I'm going to give him haste going down to one. Gavin is the only person I can't kill. Thank you so much again to Alex, Pixie, and Chase for the game. And if you wanna watch the full game, you can find it right here. I hope you all enjoy playing on Spell Table. I know I certainly have. If you have any questions about it or things you'd like to see added into Spell Table, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again on Monday when I start diving in to Time Spiral Remastered. I know I originally said it was going to be this week, but hang in there a little bit longer. It's almost here. In the meantime though, may you have a lot of fun playing on Spell Table. You got this. White needs more tools. 
So a design goal for 2020 across the whole design team was to find ways to give White those tools. So from vision design to play design to the Council of Colors and everywhere in between, we were all working on trying to come up with these tools and give White new tools that still preserved its unique identity across not just Commander, but all Magic formats. 